that's rough. <laughs> uh, all right, we are streaming now. I'm going to try to figure out without breaking anything. So thank you for your patience, everybody. Um, it turns out that um, it was, uh, yeah, my drivers got obliterated in some kind of an update. We're not sure exactly what, but um, yeah, it's, uh, that was the issue. Let me just double check and see. Can we hear, can we hear the bandits when they talk? No, we don't, because I'm not seeing you in the, uh-oh. This is where it fell apart for me last time. But no, no, I've got that as an option now, so hang on. So I think that's, let's hear you now. Yeah, Open now we can hear you. you. We got it, we got it. Wait, it's working? Yeah, yes. I think so. Uh, Jack, Jasra, no. tech support, and artist extraordinaire. <laughs> Uh, do you want to share your screen and we'll, uh, I'll throw this up there as well. Yeah. He's already sharing his screen. Oh, then I'm on the wrong window, aren't I? Dun, dun, dun. Join. Let me go. Let me go here. I go here. I go here. We're watching the stream. Hey, look, it's me with a little, Hey, it's so good. Okay. Let me, let me switch my. so good. Wait, what the heck? I know. <laughs> it's amazing how handsome your father is. I know what you're thinking. No. Uh, okay, no. let me see if I do this. Never, nope. Not what I was that's thinking. That's never what I was. That's never what you were thinking? Nope. Uh, all right, that's Jack, what Jack, he's Jack, never Jack, wanting Jack, to Jack. think. Where are you, Jack? Why can't I see Jack's Discord? I'm going to get it in a second here. Um, OBS, mm. nope. Ah, you might need to uh, do the pop-out. Oh, do the pop-out? Is that what's the... Blah, blah, blah. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pop... Pop it out, pop it out. Here we go. Okay, I'm taking this. I'm popping that out. And then I have a little window that I can now share. Is that the idea? It is. Yeah. It's the tech support stream. Forget this art stuff. We've got tech support to do. Grandpa Grandpa Dinosaur David needs some help. Uh, okay. Uh, come on. Come on. Which one is Jack Jasper? There you are. Done. Okay, so if I do that now, woohoo, there you are. Okay, I can make that nice and big. Cover up my big mug. Look at that beautiful, beautiful face. I'm talking about the raccoon, right? Just so everyone's clear. <laughs> uh, and then let me see, video capturing. I'm just going to pop that on top so we can get a sense of my wonder and joy as you watch. And you could... Uh... Oops, I just moved the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll just make this a bit smaller. I know there's way better ways of doing this, but I, I suck at it. So uh, if I put myself, where's a good place for me to be, do you think, Jack? Right there. Mm. Right perfectly smack in the middle of your drawing. Would that be useful for you? Look, it's a work of art already, Jack. <laughs> it's just me right there in the middle of your screen. <laughs> That's all. Oh, it's beautiful. How do you do it? Nice. Uh, it's animated. It's all right. I'm going to try to make this very, very small. That's me. Start right up in the corner. Stream question for me is... You've got a question. Yes. What do you have a question uh, for our resident? Well, I say, hang on. Before we do this, let me just let me just tell everyone what's going on here. So uh, Jack Jasra is not only a brilliant artist and uh, a wonderful friend. He has also got full control of my computer now. Um, so... <laughs> Luckily, he walked me through the drivers that my mysteriously, for some reason, were completely obliterated in a Discord update. I'm not sure how that worked exactly. So we have downloaded the latest 1917 drivers for my for my <laughs> laptop. Was it 2007? Was it or two, 2017? Uh, yes. <laughs> it's almost almost as old as Baz. And, uh, and we've got it fixed. But Jack Jasper has an amazing stream that everyone should go check out um, where he does this all the time. But uh, this one, he's willing to do with us and have me and the, and the bandits interrupt him the whole time while he tries to make brilliant things. <laughs> so, uh, and we have a question right away from, from uh, Wolf Pup, who is also an artist. Go for it, Wolf Pup. Um, yes. How long did it take you to figure out how you wanted your art style to be? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh... <laughs> that's really a good question because uh, even now I'm not really sure what I want as my art style <laughs> is it something that you do you start did you start by copying other people's stuff or did you start doing your own things right away mm, no I think 
I think you're always inspired by by the artists you like. Right. So um, who did you grow up with? Like who did you go? Oh man, that was like what were there things in particular that, that leapt out at you? Hmm. I think I uh, took a lot of inspiration, at least when I was a child. Uh, from you're still a child uh, compared, compared to me, just so we know, <laughs> just to be very clear. Yeah. 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 Okay. Like, okay. Let's say like ten years ago. Okay. Uh, All right. That makes from, more sense. Yeah. Uh, from One Piece, uh, from the uh, it's it's a Japanese manga. Oh yeah. And yeah yeah. I, I really like the arts on it. I still like it. Yeah, we're big. Like, Baz and I, we really got it. Um, what did we get into, Baz? What was the manga that you were reading earlier on? It was made most of the Naruto stuff, I guess, to start. And then it got darker and darker and darker and darker. <laughs> uh, oh, DJ Ryder wants to know uh, how... Yeah. DJ Ryder wants to know how their son can, can uh, join the Tech Bandits. What you do is you just show up. That's basically, it's very, very, it's a grueling process of getting in. You show up. Um, I can send you a link. Um, if you email me at the email address that will come up when someone types exclamation mark email or something, um, then uh, I will uh, I will get you a link to the Discord server. And I just like to keep the kids separate from everyone else because otherwise it just gets messy. Um, you know, I don't want to be worried about, about all that stuff. So uh, what manga was it? Uh, One Piece and uh, and Bleach, I think. One Piece and Bleach. Things. I don't think I've done. I don't think I've seen One Piece. I, I love One Piece and Bleach, but I, I couldn't get through One Piece. Really. I have started reading a new comic book now. It's not manga, but it's this guy Jeff Lemire. I think you'd like it, Jack. It's called Descender. <laughs> um, okay. it's beautiful. Like it's a sci-fi. Uh, comic book series. I'll I'll put up a link. Uh -huh. But you know what? Look, don't let me stop you from art. By the way. Yeah, Bleach mm -hmm. is amazing. Aaron Cross. It was a really good one. It is a good cleaning tool. And isn't it just? And apparently, <laughs> according to a previous president, you could just that could kill the virus. Um. Okay. Wait. What? Well, didn't didn't uh, <laughs> didn't didn't. Didn't Trump at one point talk about like injecting bleach or something as a way of getting? If only we could just get that bleach in our systems to kill it. Wasn't that? But uh, wouldn't that also kill you? Isn't having bleach inside your body sometimes fatal? That'd be a way to die time? pretty pretty damn quick. I'd have to say if you start mainlining bleach, it's generally a bad idea. Um. So now, what draw art wise today, Jack? What do you think? I mean. Um... Is re I resizing, I'm guessing, is probably not very exciting for you. So we could do that another another time. Just because I really oh, want to get I... that grumpy raccoon on a cup. <laughs> oh, no, I thought we, we do we do the grumpy raccoon, but in Oh, great. Oh, then great. I mean... Fantastic. Let's do that then. Yeah. yeah. The grumpy raccoon is my... It, like. So I have... Now that we've got onto this... Don't you love the Streamlabs uh, merchandise? Oh, yes. It's really... Yes, it's way better That's quality cool. yeah and and i must agree that the the uh, the spreadshirt quality is isn't really that good it's it's not it's not bad so much as i just found that um it was also confusing because i have to have like multiple shops from multiple places whereas streamlabs i guess because it's tied in with twitch is okay. just it's just so much it's it's designed to work with this kind of environment, which is great. Um, as speaking of which, I should go in and just say hello to a few people who've done been kind enough to. Ang Beckett has resubscribed. Thank you very much. Sixteen months. Woohoo! Hey, Sloth Cola, Sloth Chola, Sloth Chola. I like that. Um, has resubscribed. Thank you very much. Monica Lake's throwing bits at us. Monica Lake. Thank you. Aaron Cross has resubscribed. Then of course we're back to Karim and uh, Monica Lake and uh, Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff. Um, there you go. Uh, so we're going to work on the grumpy raccoon drinking coffee. Who I don't know who could have inspired you to do that. <laughs> David. <laughs> Although I really... Was I correct? Uh, it, it's possible, maybe. You know, maybe I need a cup of coffee once in a while. We're going to have to... I'm addicted to this bubbly stuff now, though, or buble, as I call it, because they have Michael Buble doing the ads. 
Um, this stuff is ridiculously good. I feel like I'm doing ads now. I should, I should start doing ads What's for Blue Blaze. Oh, I thought you, you're talking about uh, bubble tea again. <laughs> oh, bubble tea. Oh my God. No, that's great too. Um, what was one piece about, by the way? I don't know that one. I gotta look that one up. Uh, a pirate who wants to find the biggest uh, treasure. Yeah, it's history. about someone. Yeah, and to get the uh, the to become the like king pirate or something, right? Yes. Jack Jasper likes his pirates. Have you got the Pirates of the Caribbean version of uh, of that game we were playing yet? I forgot the name of it. What was it called? What was the one that made me sick? That I got seasick playing a sea game? <laughs> I got seasick playing a sailing oh, yes. game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that should be possible, but... It is possible. I do it all the time. I get... I get. Well, I get sick in video games all Everything the time. Everything makes him sick. It's true. And Wait, you know what? what? You want to hear the weirdest thing? Since COVID, I, it's even worse. Isn't that weird? I haven't even got COVID, but for some reason, since I've been locked in the house for as long as we have been, it has been almost impossible for me to play video games without getting kind of woozy. I forgot how to walk. Oh, I, you forgot. <laughs> Wolf Pup has for, officially forgotten how to walk. It's, it's not been a joke. So long. <laughs> when I go, when I like go out with my mom or something, like I look like I'm stumbling to walk. Really? And, and are you blinking in the sunlight? No. Uh, oh, Miss Lynn's really. Their son really liked One Piece books. Like after, I recognize the art. Like I, I can, I like when I look at the cover of this stuff, I feel like I've seen it. I feel like I've seen it. I just don't think I've ever. I don't think I've ever. I know I have never read it. So, I I gotta say one of my favorites of all time was Death Note. I freaking loved Death Note. Oh, Death Note is nice. Oh. It's also one of the only animes you've ever watched. Uh, Isn't I haven't? Yeah, but I've... I read it as well, didn't I? Huh. Oh wow! So so Jack, you have to to resize this. You have to redraw it. Yes. Are you gonna I make mean, him look younger and more handsome? I mean, look at this in the corner. This is the original size, and we need to get it to around this size. And I mean. We could like um, <clears throat> add more to the raccoon, hmm. like some. Ja this is this is when you cue Baz to start making fat jokes. That's basically what the, that was, that's, <laughs> that the raccoon should be bigger and stuff. And maybe even <laughs> look at his little feet. I love it. Maybe even like. A... I think the raccoon's tails. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta go bigger with the raccoon tail. I think they've got giant freaking. They are so. Oh my God, it looks exactly like my dad. There you it's go. Chunky. That's it. I'm like the Snorlax of raccoons. Snorlax. <laughs> yeah. Someone said, "What's the name of our raccoon? What's the name of the Tech Bandits raccoon?" Jared. Jared. No, Boris. Yes, Fritz. Boris. 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 No, that's the name of Baz's cat in the future. Apparently. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Apparently, Baz is going to retire to LA with a cat called Boris. And he's going to, and he's going to, <laughs> as a hacker. Um, Boris. Techni the I raccoon want... bandit. I don't know about Techni. Um, thank you for your uh, input, Gaminator. No. <laughs> um, Oswald and Santos, how are you? Um, Techie? Yeah, I guess maybe. What about like Fritz or like, cause Fritz sounds like, you know, when things aren't working, things are on the Fritz. Gerald. Gerald? Yes, Gerald. Like Gerald with a G, with a, with a G? Gerald. Come on, yes, Baz, you're Gerald. good at naming things. What do we call it? No, we're not naming it Meredith. Who put that in there? Captain <laughs> Calvin Cat. You're banned. Um, have we still got Elsa with us, by the way? Yeah. Elsa, do you do any art? Do you do drawing and stuff as well? Um, I'm not so good at art, but my grandfather is actually pretty good. Oh, yeah? Um, but I just, like, get mad when 
things didn't go my way. Oh, so when they don't, when it doesn't work, you destroy things. Yeah, <laughs> almost. Mine, my, I, like I don't know. Maybe Jack has can speak to this too. But but I find things never turn out on paper the way I planned in my head. Is that something that improves as you get better at this, Jack? Things, yes. They just start uh, to look more like what you wanted? Yes. I think I'm at a point where it almost looks as I wanted it. <laughs> right, but right. It gets better. <laughs> I really like how small you've made the feet because it just makes me look that much fatter. I mean, the raccoon, <laughs> that much fatter. Um, yeah, yes. see, I just figured, don't you think this on a this on a coffee mug is so perfect. And then maybe I'll put the Tech yes. Bandits logo on the other side. So you have the Tech Bandits logo on one side and then you have like, you know, Rocky Boris. over there. What are we gonna call him? Boris. George the Raccoon, after George Still, who first described ADHD. <laughs> Good one, James. Touche, James, touche. <laughs> uh, Ian's not bad. That's my middle name, Ian. I kind of like Fritz, though, or something like that, or Glitch. Ooh, what about Glitch? Fitzgerald. How about Fitzgerald? Oh, Fitzgerald the raccoon. We just call him Fritz. Rod. Rod's not bad. Tom. Oh, that's a really good point. Jonathan LH has made a really good point, Jack, just to make your life even oh. more difficult. The raccoon needs to have the raccoon on its cup. <laughs> I mean, that's easy. You just, just take, you the take your the little one. Wait, the raccoon has the raccoon on the cup, and yeah. that's an infinite loop of raccoons? Exactly. <laughs> that was it. Yes. We, we go full and recursive. I mean, I mean, it is really, uh, it's huge, the picture, so we can go crazy with the details. Yeah, because now it's big. could be like, yes. Uh-oh. Now, I think we just put, I think we just sent Jack down the rabbit mm. hole now, I think. Jack's like Jack's like painting little tiny ants, like <laughs> microscopic beings. If you zoom in far enough on their coffee mug, you will find amoeba. Uh, Alpha Zulo Mike yeah. India says that speaking of ADHD, I am somebody with ADHD combined type too. I uh, combined with what? I combine mine with everything. Hey Baz, you're related to me. Do you think you have ADHD? Or do you think you might? Then, sorry, I turned you down for some reason. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I was distracted. <laughs> um, What's up? I was saying, like, I have, because I have ADHD, I, I'm, I imagine it's probably there's a certain genetic quality to this as well. Do you think you uh -huh. might have ADHD as well? Probably, if it's genetic, <laughs> maybe. I don't know. Well, you don't necessarily. That doesn't necessarily mean you get it, but, but yeah. you know. I'm I just could curious. get it tested if you wanted to. Yeah. You could do the test that I took. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll see if what I can dig it up. It? <laughs> it's just a paper test. It's kind of, it's a little lame, actually. I thought I was expecting something a lot more interesting. But, um... I should try it then. Yeah, it's, I mean, it. it's... Here's the thing. I don't know that it makes a huge amount of difference to me knowing that I've got it. No, no, sorry. I don't know that it makes, I don't think a diagnosis does much for me. Because it's like saying, like, David, you're really distracted. Yep, I know that. <laughs> but what's neat about it is that you can then look for different tools on how to deal with it, if that makes sense. Like how to make, you go, oh, knowing that I have ADHD, what's the best way to have an organizer? Well, I, you know, I have a little book that I write things down because it helps me sort of focus on things. Of course, I've lost it because I put it down somewhere and walked off. But that's, you know. <laughs> um, yes, it's true. Ank. You're right. It does help once you know why you react differently to people. The reality is, the fact is that everybody is on the spectrum in some way, shape, or form. Everyone is on a spectrum of some sort, right? You know? Um, Jack, do you, when you draw, when you do your artwork, do you tend to do it when you're in a good mood or in a bad mood, or does it matter? Mm. Mostly good mood. I think, I think art in a bad mood is, I don't know. I try, I try not to do art when I have a bad mood. Oh, really? So you try not to, so, so you don't go like, I'm in a, I'm in a lousy, depressed mood and I'm going to go and draw something. You, no. Interesting. All right. I used to, when I, when I played around with a band as a kid, um, like musically, I found that the only time I wrote songs was when I was really, 
really depressed. <laughs> and, oh, what? Yeah. And they were the worst songs. Because when I got happy again, you're like, what the hell? <laughs> you know? Oh, Oswald and Santos. Was that you who sent me that email? Oh, that's interesting. I, I may have spammed it. I wasn't sure. It didn't. It looked suspect. So I didn't. It was a little sus, as my son would not say, because that would not be cool. Um, uh, that's sus. Uh, so, and the next question I have for Jack, which I think I may have already asked him before, but um, mm-hmm. is it? It's just practice, isn't it? You just get better and better and better the more you do it. Yes. It's uh, uh, what was the Bob Ross quote? Uh, Happy little accidents. <laughs> also, but, <laughs> but that's the only said, Bob Ross quote I know. He said, "Talent is a pursued interest. Anything that you're willing to practice, you can do." Ha! Huh. And that's, that's. I like that quote. Yeah, it's good. It's a really nice quote because the talent in art is is how much you're willing to to spend practicing. Right. And. Uh, most of the people you see that are really good at art, they practice like every day and draw every day and right. for a really long time. Isn't it that ten thousand hours thing? I think I've up. I think I've upped uh, Jack's volume a bit. Is that better now? Because Invisible Dimensions and Jonathan Mlh are <laughs> belly aching about the sound. Uh, Jack, speak for a moment again, would you? Yes. Hello. Hello. I can up him even more if you want. Is it better now? All right, Captain Calvin Cat. Right now, I'm on page 328 of my fanfic, and I need to get into a good mood to continue writing. I hope the tech banditry David and his awesome chat can cheer me up. Oh, no pressure at all, Captain Calvin Cat. <laughs> it's just uh, the fate of your book. I, I, I think of joke. A funny joke. <laughs> Be funny, now! That's what, uh... That's what my, uh... My legend, uh, my kung fu legend continues co-star used to used to say, well, he was the star, actually, you know, David Carradine used to go be funny and then not say his lines. And I'd be like, what? Uh, OK, wait a second. Why? Have, why is that shown up in there? That's not any good. Not stop it's watching six people. Uh, up the volume. Because they have the, the pop out open. You could also hide the other precipitants on, on the right uh, by clicking on the arrow on the right. So the um the stream should be a bit more high quality if i if i change to this and click on the arrow on the right dun 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 oh oh you mean in the, in my stream labs oh yes yes all right there uh, in discord in, in oh discord. in discord hello discord my little discord uh why is it not doing that so there's that. Oh, I'm in. The, I've got multiple windows. I see. Of course. Hang on. Uh, so if I go there, you still there? Ah, yes. In the in the pop out window, there you should have on the right side an arrow to hide the pictures of the. Oh, is that what does it? Oh, look at that. Will you look at that? Oh yes, hide members. Yes. And then now then I need to zoom be... back out again because yes. then. All right. It's so complicated. Why Always. Does everything have to be so complicated, Jack. Um, okay. There you go. How's that? Ah, that's no, pretty good. A... Huzzah! All right. Huzzah. All right. Where was I? Right. Yes. Leadership. Um, okay, you know, it still cracks me up that as I'm reminded that season one episode of Atlantis when McKay, uh, McKay keeps going off on tangents when he tried to record a video message home. Yeah, not far from home, really, is it? It's sort of uh, basically, that's me. Um, I'm curious to find that uh, that test, though. That uh, There's probably like a, you could probably get it online. The funny thing was, a little funny story about that with my doctor was that my doctor and I are like ex- almost exactly the same age. And uh, I, f- I feel that perhaps we have similar, we suffer from similar issues. And in some ways. And so it, he gave me the, he was, he said, oh, I got to get you the test for the ADHD test. And I was like, great. 
And then I, I, then we finished, we had a little chat about stuff and we, you know, went off on a tangent, of course. And then I left. And then as I was walking on the stairs, he, ca- he calls and goes, okay, I think I'll take the test too, because I forgot to give you the test and you forgot to take it. So, so uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of fun. Well, here's another question for you, Jack. If you're, you're doing these designs, why do you design them so small to start? Wouldn't it make sense to make them bigger and then just shrink them down or it just it doesn't work? It's not as easy as that. That's a really good question. And uh, the thing is, I'm, uh, I've recorded a three-part YouTube tutorial series oh. on how to draw in molds. Oh. I still need to edit them. <laughs> Aha. It's hey. really a lot of work. <laughs> hey, Imbrex back. Imbrek and a party of 13. Welcome. Oh, no. Welcome, fabulous Imbrek of Stargate Network. Um, who's going to send me a letter that they're writing to MGM about their, their game because MGM, of course, is mm. doing cease and desist things on people who shouldn't be ceasing and desisting and all that stuff. Ceasing Salu- and desisting. Yes. I- Do you know what a cease and desist is, Wolfpup? Yes, it's basically to say, like, stop. Yeah. Or- Stop or we'll it sue just... you, basically. Didn't... I'm trying to remember. It's because I'm pretty sure a YouTuber got a cease and desist for something that you shouldn't have to get a cease and desist for. Yeah, some some companies throw them around just, just because they can, basically. Like tie people up in legal legal stuff. Uh, stop in the name of love, but stop in the name of money, says Captain Calvin Cat. Uh, would like some... Context on that. Very good. Yes. Uh, would like some context on that, says Alpha. Wait, why is MGM cease and desist people? Right. Uh, Alpha Zulu, Mike, India. Uh, I mean, probably uh, probably Ibrek would be better to speak to this, but the um, uh, Ibrek and their raiders. Uh, is basically, because Ibrek and his very, very talented friends have built this beautiful SG-1 and um, Atlantis 3D world environment that you can walk through and stuff, um, uh, because they did that of, of their own merit, on their own dime, using their own time as a fan appreciation thing. Like just, they, just, they just wanted to, you know, like you do with science fiction. You want to live in the world of the show that you enjoy. So, you know, like Jack Jasper, they are, you know, they are artists, but they are, they are 3D artists. And um, they created this beautiful, beautiful uh, setup. Um, and... Of course, MGM goes, hey, we own all that. Forget it. You can't do that. And then wants to shut them down. I think probably because there's a game coming out, another game. But it's not the same kind of game, is it, Ibrak? It's a whole different... Isn't it like a whole different game? Isn't it like a top-down kind of... Well, that was a different a different kind of kind of game. Um, yeah, feel free to I, share the links, by the way. Share the links to those cease and desisted things. I changed my nickname on the server to Wolf. Well, this is a funny thing, DJ Writer, because people would say that. People, the understanding of copyright law seems to be that if you're not making money, then you're allowed to do whatever you want. That is not the case. People don't get, generally don't get nailed for doing things if they don't um, make money off it because the company will make no money by suing them, right? So technically, they can sue anybody they want, but what's the point of suing somebody who's not making any money off it? In this case, I guess they're... MGM were always very litigious, to be honest. Like I did a, I did an ad for them on YouTube. So they, their publicity people came in and were trying to get all like hip and cool and wanted to do YouTube stuff. And they're like, oh, David does YouTube. He knows everything. So I did like a little silly little video for them. And they put it up on YouTube and it got really good numbers. And I was like, this is really good. This is great. Maybe, you know, maybe that could get a, a different job as well. And, um, and then MGM took it down. Their legal department took it down. Because they thought someone was ripping them off. I was like, dude, I'm in the show and I'm working for your publicity department. They're like, oh, sorry. And then like uh, two months later, they put it back up again. And uh, I was like, oh, great. Here you go. Like it wasn't even on my channel. It was on their, it was like they, they had a separate PR channel of some sort. Anyways. Uh, Eagles wants to put up a link. What do you need to put up a link up for? Uh Fan people people should pursue free licenses from license holders, which can be weird because the general public doesn't understand copyright license. Yeah, very true. Stray Manatee, it sounds like you do. 
Hey, you know, Jack, something else that I've learned from your streams? Yeah. Uh, I've used that, that way of coloring with the mask mm -hmm. in, fa in, uh, in Facebook. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, in, uh, in Photoshop. I've discovered how to yeah. do it in, where you can select, you select something and then you, by painting over it, it only paints within the lines. It's like cheating. Yes. It feels like totally yeah, cheating. It's awesome. Yeah. I mean, it works in every software that uses uh, masks. Oh, does it? See, I'd never, I'd never, even, never even occurred to me that's how you could do things. But it was great for me because I was, I can't remember what I was doing. That I was trying to color it in. Um, oh, I know what it was. It was, uh, uh, so Jane needed some sort of uh, promotional material for the swearing jar which is the film she's just finished shooting with Kathleen Turner, which doesn't mean anything to anybody that I'm talking to right now. Cause I'm sure she's, you know, I'm sure that most of you are too old for that, too young for that stuff. But, um, but yeah, so Kathleen Turner is in this movie. Um, and, uh, and you know who else uh, is, uh, is it Patrick from, from suits? Amazing guy. Really like that. Um, yes. XF Kirsten is old too. So I mean, not, not to say that, Kathleen Turner is old, but you know those of us who were fans of Kathleen Turner tend to be a little older. Yeah, um, yeah. DJ Writer, uh, just send me an email, and we'll uh, and just remind me, you know, who you are and 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 what it's about, and I'll I'll try to get a, a Discord link off to you. Mm, ah, yeah. Your question was uh, why I starts so small with the emotes. Right. Yes, that was about 25 um, minutes ago, right? <laughs> yes, but I remember now. And <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, and I I also answer this question in the video I haven't <laughs> yet uploaded. But Wait a second, it's answered in the video you haven't posted yet? Yes. <laughs> That's such a good video. I watched it. You've watched it? I, I uploaded the first one, but I didn't publish it yet because I still need to edit the other two videos well you can still put the first one up can't you if you're interested in in the subject and like yeah. find the first video and then want to see the rest i mean well put the first one up and then say you know get people to like patronage or something so you can because this is good these are good skills to have this is like a like this is like this is like a deal we're ripping you off right now <laughs> this is like and, uh, free But at least I've uh, I've finished uh, filming the <laughs> the videos. You finished filming them. Yes, just need to edit them, and it's 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 a lot of work. Yeah, I was trying to get Baz to do some <laughs> editing for me because I just don't have I, I I feel like I never have time to do it. And uh, yeah, in the videos I do like. Uh, uh, go from start to end how to draw an emote and hmm. it's it's in german but i have uh, translated english subtitles smart not auto translated <laughs> but i translated them myself oh very good so they actually make sense yes and so it should be watchable by <laughs> by uh, let's say my us english friends. <laughs> us us international folks I always yeah. like the way in America, everyone, they always refer to like the U.S. and then international. <laughs> I'm like, you know, it's like the Brits saying that, uh, oh, my God, there's a there's a storm in the channel. Europe <laughs> stranded. <laughs> uh, I wonder why I didn't um, any of the starting gears ever because I'm putting an array of solar collectors with the nearest. Uh oh, someone's alpha alpha Zulu Mike India is trying to work out Stargate plots. Uh, and then beam that energy to power starting to dial into galactic addresses. Uh, yeah, I mean, solar power, that would probably be a good route. You know, some giant solar sails and stuff. Is US... Stargate a show that has, like, lots of lore? Yes. I've watched it. That's oh, yeah, watching. huge, huge amounts of lore. Yeah, crazy amounts of lore. Like, they have a... If you go to uh, uh, gateworld.net, they have a glossary there of all the stuff. It's It's insane. There is so much stuff. When I when I went to do my first episode, I showed up and uh, I was like, "Look, I'd I'd like to get you know." Is there normally with a show? There's a thing called a, uh, the like the show bible, and that's just basically kind of like what you say the lore of the show. So it's kind of good to get a sense of what you know what you need to know. And I don't know whether they were just like doing it to like to sort of go like you don't know, 
uh, they printed out the glossary from from GateWorld.net. It was like it was like a Bible. <laughs> it was literally a Bible. It was like this big of paper that they printed out. It reminds me of the days that my my little sister uh, Jenny used to uh, she used to fax me websites. She used to, she used to print out a website <laughs> and then fax it to me. Go, you've got to check out this website. I was like, Jenny, you're missing the point. Why wouldn't they just send the URL? Exactly my point, Wolf Pup. Because I guess it was so new to them at the time that that uh, I, I guess they hadn't maybe they hadn't figured that out. She's a very smart lady, my my little sister Jenny. But uh, but yeah, the the internet savvy stuff to start. Yeah, though she picked it up pretty quick when she got. She, I mean, she ended up doing a lot of of online stuff. Um. But it was early days. Like people didn't understand it, right? They were they didn't know what was going on. Whoops. The fax website. What year was this? Man, I'm dating myself, aren't I? Uh, hey, Flynn King. Thank you very much. Subscribe for two months. You've been you've been hanging out for two months, and one of those months I was hardly even around. Um. <laughs> thank you, James. Do you like your Mac? Um. All right, I'm charging my phone and I'm checking messages because I've got to um, I have got to work tomorrow and I want to make sure that I don't miss out on any of the fun stuff here. All right. Uh, all right. I just emailed saying, "Um, what's going on?" Cuz they had some, they changed some they changed some stuff in the scenes. This will happen often on TV shows where like the night before you're shooting, they'll say, "Oh, by the way, we've rewritten that scene." And you're like, "Don't. I just memorized it." Oh. Romaine 3 Mars. Sorry, Romaine 13 Mars. Thank you very much. I also subscribed for two months. Fantastic. These have been good, these have been good two months for us. Uh, the late 90s. Don't remember it at all. This is Dr. Meredith Rodney McKay, PhD in both physics and engineering. That's right. Oh, my God. Camelot. Camelot? 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 76? Camelot? Could be Camelot, I guess, but it's K M, like Camelot. Thank you very much for subscribing at tier one. Is this the first time you subscribe? Fantastic! Thank you. Well, welcome. Uh, heart, the green hearts and green hearts and stargates. I love it. The knights who say Nick. Uh, oh, see, this is Jack going in on the cup. This is where it all happens. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is there going to be like a? A little subtle reflection of the raccoon in the coffee at the top, and uh, and that has a reflection. Never mind. <laughs> you could do a reflection in the coffee, and then a reflection in the in the coffee of the eye of the raccoon looking at the coffee. Yeah, you could really. Wait, I have a, I have an amazing idea. All right, coffee inception. Right. Yes, coffee inception. The coffee cup. It has a another coffee cup inside of it because it's going to be holding the cup that he is holding so then it's basically an infinite loop of the cup it's the this is we should just call ourselves the nolan bandits <laughs> the christopher nolan bandits um if anyone seen have you seen that latest movie of his what's it called mm. like with all the reverse fighting Reverse fighting. Yeah, what was it called? What was the what was the latest one? Tenant. That's it. Tenant. Oh. Uh, uh, I yeah. I just yeah. Couldn't. I could not get. I could not. I I I just didn't get it. I was like, I'm struggling with this. And then when they started fighting backwards, I was like, yeah, sorry. Fighting backwards just looks <laughs> silly. You know. Oh, Captain Calvin Cat, you really liked it. Was uh, it that they recorded the fight and then played it? backwards you'd sort of have to see it because there was a it was obviously i'm sure there was a lot it was a lot more complicated than than what it looked like if that makes sense but it just looked like a fight in reverse but it wasn't a fight in reverse because part of it was it was yeah it was i i felt that i felt this one of those things that sounds really like a cool i thought it could be cool and when it first started i was like oh it's kind of neat and then after a while i was like no nah, i'm just it, it's just it's just reverse it just unfortunately to me it's so tied 
to the process of making films and and reversing and rewinding and stuff that I I just yeah it just didn't it didn't work for me. Um, I'm still trying to wrap my head of how you would fight in reverse. <laughs> Well, that's you should you should check it out. Honestly, I mean it's really violent, but it's um, it's It'd be like you knock the person out and then they just wake back up and be like, "Yes, fight time." Well, it you, again, I don't want to ruin anything, so you sort of have to see it. But it's uh, rule one: don't think too much about movies. But isn't that sad? You know, what we've been watching recently. Um, I don't know if Jack, you might actually Jack, you might like this. Um, mm-hmm. it, it's called Ragnarok, a series called Ragnarok. I know this one. You you know that? Yeah. The Norwegian series. Uh-huh. I, it's kind of fun. Isn't Ragnarok um like Viking? Yeah, it's it's basically it's Thor, but it's done by by the Norwegians who are the I mean the it's Norse mythology. So yeah. it's the Norse doing like a it's almost like they're doing like the Flash or Supergirl or something like that, but they're doing it in their, their way with, with Thor, but it gets a bit, it gets a, there's a, there's a bit of sexy stuff in there. And you know, <laughs> that's that maybe the parents might find difficult with kids, I suppose. But, um, uh, but it's, and there's some, it's not really that gory. Is it Baz? Is it very gory? I can't remember. Not really. No, it's just a neat idea. It's like this guy who shows up in a small town with his family and, and then this, this crazy woman like taps him on the forehead and he becomes Thor. Like it's like, they just, and it's they like just straight up poke him in the forehead and then yes, yeah. Thor now. Yeah. That's exactly what happens. Like in the first five minutes, that's what happens. And then you're like, w- now where do you go? What do you do now? And it's just like him slowly discovering his powers. And, and it's just, it's uh and then these crazy like ice beings that are the, the bad guys. And it's all about like pollution and, and corporations. And yeah, it's really, I, I, I enjoyed it. I mean, I guess it's no witcher, right, Jack? Well, are you still enjoying the witcher? I love the witcher, but I'm not the biggest fan of the series. Oh, really? Even though, even though Henry Cavill builds computers, I mean Henry Cavill is awesome. Yeah, and uh, Joey Beatty is also awesome. As, who, who's as, Joey Beatty? Uh, who, who does Joey Beatty play? Uh, he he played the Bard uh, Jeski, I think. Yeah. And they both are really awesome, but the rest I'm not sure. They really? they uh, watered the story down, so it's uh, like. Uh, are they trying to be family friendly? Not, not really. But but the story is really complex, and they they removed a lot of things, hmm. so people don't get too confused. But people did get too confused because there were a lot of time skips. <laughs> ha! Oh man, I hate and, time skips. Uh, time skips or really... movies are like I don't know which movie I was watching, but like one day this person is like sleeping in like today and then they wake up in like 20 years in the future and then i'm just like how and it didn't really say when the time skips happened or stuff like that so it's basically just bam they just wake up 20 years what is he rip van winkle or something what's the uh it's basically the time skips weren't like five minutes or so they were like years okay mellow you sleep well someone else said they had to go too um, I should say goodbye to oh, someone else. I wanted to say goodbye to. Um, ba-da, 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 ba-da. Oh boy, man, I really missed out. It was a long time ago. <laughs> well, whoever it was, good night. <laughs> uh, yeah, t- tenant made no sense to me at all. Ank, I'm with you on that. Uh, Has you watched the movie Inception? Yes. Oh, Inception was great. I liked Inception. I gotta say, I mean, you know, partially because I really, really like that actor. What's the, what's I his just name? I want to say, in the movie, the maze mm-hmm. that the person gives, it's impossible. It's either very easy or impossible. Right. Uh, no, not DiCaprio. The other guy. I mean, I like DiCaprio too. He's a good actor, but the the other guy, because Joseph Gordon Levitt. Can... That's it. Mm. Of course, you remember his name, Jonathan, because Jonathan M L H also has lots of letters in his names.
Uh, Eagles was blown away by Inception. Inception is the same thing than Tenant. It makes no sense too. Yeah, I don't think it made much sense. I just thought it was kind of fun to watch. Whereas Tenant, I was like a bit like, what? I just got, I got frustrated. If that makes sense. And, and the thing about Witcher was that uh, I, it wasn't time skips, but jumps. Like one scene is uh, 10 years later, then the next scene is, is 10 years back. And then... Oh, I hate that. Forth. I hate the flashbacks. And, uh, I hate flashbacks. And Especially the if they was... don't ripple into the flashback. <laughs> yeah. And the reason, the reason was because they, they used like the first two books for, for uh, as as the story for season one right but uh, the, the first two books weren't uh, novels but uh, a collection of short stories right right and so it feels disjointed but, yeah i i really i mean like i'm really torn because everyone keeps saying like oh you got to watch uh sweet tooth it looks great i'm like i don't want to watch sweet tooth because I read the comic book and it's already just the look of it and the music in the trailer makes me go, this is not the comic book that I read. So Jane is trying to get me to watch it on the, on the understanding that this is not the comic book that I read. But I just, I can't, I, I, it, I mean, I know it's unfair that I should give it a chance, but I, I just don't want to see it. I'm like, I don't, I, it, I loved, I loved Sweet Tooth, the comic book. That's another one you should read. Uh-huh. Really good. Yeah, I think, I think that's the same thing. Because I love the games and mm. also the books, mm. uh, but I I'm not sure. The hey, Bat just didn't. Yeah. Really good. Well, you were, but at first you liked it. Yeah, I mean it's good. It's good, but it has really a lot of flaws. But season two could be better. Uh, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, that's I how they the get you. That's how they keep you. That's how they keep you <laughs> caught in. Um, <laughs> Jack, can I make an art suggestion? Yes. Um. The raccoon's tail, uh, mm -hmm. can it be spikier? Because raccoons Spike tend to have tail. they tend to have less of a fluffy tail and more of a sort of a spike, almost like a, uh, not spiky, but sort of like uh, chaotic a tail. Point. It's not so round, also, if that makes sense. Jack, I'm gonna need you to do some my emotes because oh. I only have one, Ooh. and I need you. Yes, I'm gonna. Well, Jack yeah. is available for hire, just so everyone knows. Oh, yeah, are you still available yeah. for hire? Jack? On twitch.tv slash Jack Jasra. Also check him out. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> um, of course. But well, we should talk to Jack about that then. I'll be right back. Um, and Twitch has now an, an emote library. You can <laughs> upload all of your emotes onto Twitch. And then I think you have 25 slots or so. And you can just uh, switch, uh, switch between the emotes freely. No way. You can? Yes. So I can get you Huzzah in here. You can get all your remotes up and then uh, switch it in between the slots you have already. I mean, you still can have just ten emotes. Oh, I see. But, but you I can. Mean, ah, I see. But you can freely swap them out. And uh, where where do I do that under uh, settings? Uh, in, in your dashboard. Yeah. And then on the left, it's. Uh, viewer rewards or something like this and then emotes ah right right got it and then you have on the right the library where you can upload all emotes and then swap them out will you look at that well golly gee okay let's get huzzah up here so you oh, can Huzzah's basically... not on this computer damn it is I'm it like computer. weekly so you can say like huzzah, I want huzzah to be weekly. Ha, huh. that's a good question. Uh, I can't upload it because I'm not. Uh, I'm in the wrong. Day. Oh, maybe I can. I'm doing this one. Oh no, I can't because I'm in. No, wait. Maybe I can. I'm trying. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. It's possible I can. It's. <laughs> but it's very unlikely. It's unlikely, but it's possible. Let's see if I can lose the sound while I'm doing it. Uh, that was yeah, so that's... frustrating. I was like, I was just ready to put a fist through my screen, but then I would have hit no. Jack Jastra cause he was in there. Um, <laughs> all right. I'm looking for, uh, Twitch. Then you wouldn't get your emote too. You'd be like, nah, -uh, you no longer get it. Nah -uh. Then you would... Oops. Nah -uh. All right. Here we go. I'm going to my dashboard. 
I'm going to go create a dashboard. Viewer rewards, emotes, uploads. I love this little library thing. That's so cool. I would I would never have seen that because it's just a little arrow, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. How did you send them to me? You sent them to me on Discord, didn't you? Uh, yeah. I mean, I can send you them again. I have them already. <laughs> oh, do you really? Yes. Oh, then great. Then I'll just, yeah, if, that, if you don't mind, that's great. I'll just, that, that. Yeah, sure. I got to say, I really like Streamlabs as well. I'm really enjoying Streamlabs. Oh, yeah. It's got so many cool little things like music and all sorts of all sorts of stuff. Okay, what is... Oh, someone did something. I just saw it. Those... Somebody just did something. Oh, boy. Hey, we got followed by a couple cast super fans. Who is that in the background? I could hear them. <laughs> This is my parents are yelling, how dare you not play Call of Duty? Is that what your parents are doing? <laughs> yes. Yeah, cool parents. They were talking to my sister. How dare you not play? Um, all right. So how do I, I don't have to leave this, do I? Oh, for God's sake. Discord, why do you have to be so difficult? I'm scared to touch anything. Okay. I send you them and you... Did you send it to me in my... Privately, yes. In private, okay. So is there a way for me to open that up with out? Can I do that? What do you mean right click? Don't oh, for God's sake. I feel like this this Discord makes you feel like a dinosaur more of a dinosaur before anyone answers. <laughs> you took the words right, right out of your mouth. mouth. I knew it. It took the words right out of my mouth. No. Uh, no, right. no, more no singing. singing. <laughs> no more singing. Sorry. Yeah. Bass has a very strict rule about singing. It's true. <laughs> yes. So you will not. You will I'm... not. What? Under any circumstance, you will not sing. There shall be no singing. There shall be no joy in this house. There shall be no now, joy. I'll do this. Oh. Did I just make everything too small? Nope. Okay, good. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. All right. So if I go, here we go. We got Jack here. Ah, oh, there they are. All the different sizes. Okay. So if I, uh, can I download it? Is there uh, a way for me to download it? There must could, be. You could drag and drop them save. into a Windows folder. This could work. I can save it. I can save the image. Oh, unable to save. What? Say what? Save image, come on. Unable to save image preview. That's weird. Ah, uh, not so. Try, try to drag and drop them just from the Discord window into a folder. Okay. Uh, doesn't that kill the quality? No. Ooh. Oh, See? for me it does. Really? It should. It should give the, the original sizes. There you go. 26K for one of them. 9k for the next and then the easy rinse tiny little one is only 3k all right oh oh you're right did it yeah it messes up the size okay then does it it still looks pretty oh it does look smaller that's true uh well maybe i can copy the image nope maybe did... i just Maybe maybe just upload them as normal, like a folder or something. Yes. Sorry. Right. Here, can you do art, tech support, and file management at the same time? <laughs> Check the uh, file size. Well, this is it. So there's the the largest one is now twenty six kilobytes. Yeah, but the file, but the image size, the dimensions are wrong. Really? Okay. That's then, so weird. Why would it do that? Then just take this. Why does it have to be that way? Okay, thank you. I'm <laughs> downloading now. Mm -hmm. Download failed. <laughs> did, I, did I just curse it to fail? No. You don't have that kind of power. 
<laughs> the download fails during the activity. Although it really that. has failed. What the it hell? It has it actually. It really didn't work. Oh my god. What have you done? You witch. Uh, okay, wait a sec. Sorcery. Your sorcery doesn't work here. But it just It does. It, what the hell? What's going on? Oogie boogie. It should now work. Don't, don't jinx it too hard. No, it's not. Oh, it, else, yeah. the it really isn't downloading. It's broken again. <laughs> it really isn't downloading. Is it downloading? All right. Tech banditry, which is compressed. Okay, you've chosen to open it. No, I don't want to open it. I want to save the file. Okay. Is it not? Does it not save it to? Uh, that's weird. That is weird. So it's not, I guess it must save it to a different place then. It must save it to the Discord stuff. Okay. Huh. I'll search for it. Uh, I don't think there's many things called huzzah. Okay, so it downloads it to, no, it downloads it. That is so, you know, Windows is weird. <laughs> Windows is just freaking weird. Okay. All right, let's do some uploading. Let's do this. Dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Uploading now. Uploading. Upload the emote. Mm -hmm. and, uh, boogie boogie. It should no longer work. Because I said... Don't you... To, uh, try to uh, make the... Uh, try to uh, unset the automatic size changing so you can upload all three sizes. Ah, okay. Okay. That. Because uh, Twitch allows you to just use one size, but I I think Twitch doesn't do a good job with resizing them. Yeah. Isn't it weird that Twitch isn't as good at Twitch as the other things are? Twitch isn't good at Twitch. That's, That's what I mean. Uh, isn't that weird? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that hurts my brain. I I don't understand what you're okay, saying. Okay, what is going on here? Why is downloads, this PC, downloads, and it doesn't show up in one window, and it does show up in the other one? Don't you love that? Uh, okay, hang on. Yep. What the heck are you doing? Oh, I know why. All right, never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Never mind. I'm a complete idiot. No need to answer that. And that went wrong because I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, got it. All right. Ah, never oh, mind. It, or is it because I said oogie boogie? Nope. It had nothing to do with that. Extracting. Yes. All right, here there we go. There is now an oogie boogie curse. All right. I'm going in and I'm loading. Now, you said tell it to not automatically retry, right? Auto resize mm -hmm. is off. Yes. Okay. Then so you the, have the option to upload. All and three that's sizes. what I'm going to do. There's the 112 going in. That's uploaded. Because now the 56. Most of the time I'm uh, like re-editing the, the smallest size. So it's yeah. good on Twitch. It's so small, that, that little one. It's so yeah. tiny. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, for the topic of why do I start small. Um, <laughs> we still haven't let you finish that. I still haven't <laughs> let you finish that. Okay. Um, I, I have an idea. Wait, wait, let you let, say as you don't let him finish that. I know again. exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, the the thing about emotes is, as as you've seen, they're really small. I mean, the size you see in chat is is twenty eight by twenty eight pixels. Is it? And it's tiny. Yeah, and it's it's super tiny. And if if you uh, start your emote on a on a big size, it you um wouldn't it mess it up not not necessarily but you run into the danger of putting too much details in it hmm. because uh 
because when you when you start your emote on a small size like I, I started mostly on this on the biggest size the twitch ones so in 112 by 112 pixels and if you start small you even put too much details in it so hmm. and uh, you have less work when you do when you do it on a small size there you go. Because got drawing the, the emotes on such a big size is, is really a lot of work, especially if you put too much details in it. All right. I'm afraid I got rid of the flat lizard and I went with Zaw. So Zaw should be in there now. But the good thing is it, it all stays in a library, so you can freely switch them. That's it. In fact, I'm also, while my little library is open... I'm going to upload more. Uh, here we go. Upload new. Here we go. I'm going to not auto resize. I'm going to get my grumpy guy in there. Is I can't believe grumpy guy's not in there. I have not got around to anything here. Here we go. Next one. Grumpy two. That grumpy one is so great. They're, I mean, they're all great, but for some reason that really speaks to me right now. Um. All right. So that's, there we go. And that's, Tech blah grump. Okay. And I really love this feature because it. I I often do like seasonal emotes with a Christmas hat and like Halloween emotes. Right. And then I can just free swipe them out. I think I'll keep the crying gecko, and I think we'll switch out the happy gecko. <laughs> Here we go, because this is. Move from slot, and now I can add that to that open slot. So there we go. We can mix it up a bit. I think mm -hmm. that's it. That's in there now. Yay! Okay. Now I have to pee really badly. Okay. So uh, not because of this specifically, but because you know, yeah, because I'm me. Okay. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be back in a sec. Because I drank all that bubbly, all during the tech support stuff. Um. All right. Intense bubbly drinking. Everyone just went very quiet all of a sudden. What's up? Bubble. So, needed just to start some music. So cool. Oh. Um. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know what music to start. I'll, uh. Without being copyrighted. That is hard to have yeah. that happen. Hard to find. I'm back. Hello, Dad. Don't all celebrate too much. What? <laughs> oh, right. You can have some fun with the detail of the uh, of the glasses too now, or the goggles. Mm -hmm. uh, I got some new. I realized that some of the I've been making my own Ethernet cables for the for our new oh. network setup, and I realized. Much Ethernet my... cable lab. It's true. It really is. Uh, it's so much fun making your own cables. I don't know. I don't know why. It's just I just get a great joy out of making my own cables. Um, and uh, I didn't realize you could make your own like HDMI cables or USB cables or any of that kind of stuff. Oh. Like, was that... oh man, I just watched a giant rat run across. We don't have the, we don't have our our Stargate <laughs> cam up anymore, but just a rat just ran across our backyard again. That's great. I can look forward to that. Maybe that'll be your next emote. Your rat emote. Uh, where did I put it? Um, a rat passing by. That's it. That's it. Oh, they like rat in the Stargate. There's a rat in the oh, Stargate. I, what are you going to do? 
I uh, mean, there are five animated emotes coming. Oh, there are? Four. Four. Uh, I think partners already have them, mm. and affiliates get them in the next month. I gave up on this whole partner thing. Whatever. <laughs> like, because we... Like we hit they all of stopped. the. We hit all of the checkpoints, but yeah. they just didn't ever admit us. They never let us in. It was so though, stupid. Yeah, it was so frustrating. Uh, okay, let me see if I can first. Like, off. let's see, how many viewers do we have right now? Well, not that many now, because we never do. These I'm so random with my live. Forty-seven. That's still pretty what? amazing. There's forty-seven people. I know, right? We used to start off. Back back in my day, we used to have like twenty two. Oh, back in my day. Lining the artwork is, is like the most boring part. Oh, that's weird. But it also takes most of the time. I've just lost your audio again. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god, Dad! Driver broke again. I think it might be the Hopefully jack. Not. It is possible it might be the jack. No, not me. That's, I'm not going to lie, that's what I thought when you said that at the start. It's Jack. It's Jack Jastra. It's Jack Jastra. It's crazy. Come on, Jack. Um, really? No, it's a weird thing. It's, it's not auto-detecting the way it used to think is the issue because I was going to extend my cable. Let me try that again. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. And then that works. Hello. Okay, that is so weird because now it's fine. <laughs> Elsa, are you still awake? I am, but I haven't been talking that much because I'm pretty tired. That's, I mean, it is amazing that you're doing, like, figure skating all day and then not sleeping all night by listening to us. Hey, Alan left yeah, me a message. Yeah, believe me, if I had to listen to my dad, well, <laughs> uh oh. If I didn't know my dad that much and I had to listen to him for that long, right? I would fall asleep so quickly, even if I wasn't <laughs> tired. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Alan. I'll have to. I'll have a look. I'll have a look and see what's up. Things have things have been moving what's around. What's happened? Uh, well, I don't. Alan doesn't have access to the chat now. I'll get Alan in another no. time. It's fine. I'll get him in when we're talking about something something Alan related. Um, but uh, yeah, man, Baz, did you have you had lunch, right? Hungry. Sort I of. A, I need a snack now. Sort uh, of. Oh, and I gotta check my email. Make sure I'm not because they're gonna. I'm gonna get call time soon. It makes me very nervous. I don't want to miss my call time. Oh, yeah. oh, here you go. Yes. Scene. Oh, good. Okay. I can't tell you what scene it when, is. When are you doing it? Hmm? What? Uh, no, I am. I'm working tomorrow. So it'll be tomorrow morning. I'll be in at a crazy early oh, morning. Okay. You know. Great. I'll stream tomorrow then. You're up. Twitch.tv slash yep. Iron Check it out. Give it a follow. If you have Twitch Prime, you can Twitch Prime sub. Don't sub to my dad. Sub to his son. Oh. What? You oh. what was that? Oh, what? yeah, what? that's amazing. Yeah. You know what I mean? It just feels like more raccoony and less yeah. like beaver like. Yeah. yeah oh right. my God, it's so cool. That's great. Looks exactly like it's my dad. so fluffy. <laughs> yeah, that's my like my fluffy tail. Uh, more so that's chunky, but. Love you, Dad. I <laughs> love you too, buddy. <laughs> All right. Those easy wires, gods, no, those plugs tend to be badly done unless you use their overly expensive crimper. Uh, are those easy wires? No, no, these are just like, I've, I've just gone with some, so normally ethernet cables are are much normal. I think this is the one I was working on and now I've rolled over it. Let's see. 
go. Not that. Oh man, I got this all. I got this all tied up. There we go. So, so yeah, so normal Ethernet cables are, are quite thin. Um, I don't have an example of one. I do. There you go, which is this one here. So, normally, Ethernet cables are like this. Little nice, big, chunky, thick cables that are hard to damage. And then when you're trying to convince your wife that it's worth running cables all the way through the house, you go for these really thin ones. But of course, they take slightly different Ethernet um, uh, terminators on them. Terminators. And also, man, they... check at how thin those cables are. Like, it's so... It's going to be really fiddly. But then you just you just put your little... You put your connectors on them, and then you put them in the right order, and you crimp, crimp down on you crimp down on them, and you've got yourself a little. Uh, wait, wait a second. Is that right? Why are they so damn short? Oh, these two parts. Oh no. Oh god. Oh, no. This is gonna be even more fiddly. Holy moly! This is crazy. You're gonna have to. I'm gonna need instructions. So I see, so that goes in there on top of that and then crimps down. Oh my God, this is holy mother of cable making. All right. So I guess you, you place the cables in here, I guess, seal them in the little box and then, and then put them in the, uh, wow. Okay. You know if a scorpion uh, like loses its tail, it's permanently constipated for the rest of its life. What? What? Seriously? Mm -hmm. How did you find this out? And why would you? What is, like? Mm -hmm. Who the hell Google's constipated scorpions? Uh, someone in my game. Oh well, that's smart then. Um, seriously? Like someone just randomly in your game just decide to say, if a scorpion loses their tail, they are now. Constipated no, for the rest said, of their life. did you know all scorpions are constipated? And I'm like, oh really? So I switched it up, and it's true. What? How? How is yeah. that? So basically, if a scor scorpion loses its tail, right. that's no way of pooping. So it just gets filled up with poop, and it dies. You just so they're like exploding, exploding uh, uh, scorpions. Is that real? Is that true? Yeah. Because they used sure. to think that if you, what is it? If a, if you cornered a, I searched it on Google. Eh? I can't remember if you if you. They used Google to think it? that if you like threatened a scorpion with fire, it would sting itself to death. And all Wait, that was happening what? was the thing was curling up in the heat. Right? Well, that's sad. Yeah, I think it was something like that. Um, How dare you kill a scorpion? Well, I like didn't that. do that. Um, you said you're a horrible person. I am a horrible person. It's true. Um, How do we know? <laughs> I know. I try. Okay. But I, you know, I practice making life miserable for you, and then you know, I hope that that you know extends You're to good. you know all creatures. Hey, naughty ostrich! How are you? That's a good name. I like that. Naughty ostrich. Hello, naughty ostrich. Who's a naughty ostrich? Uh, I'm afraid to Google that. Yeah, maybe don't Google that. If you look at it with Sorry, the but... little plastic clip away from you. What? If you look at it with a little plastic clip like away from you. I just wanted to, everyone to know that. What's that? What the, this is Tech Bandits? In case anyone... I just thought that was a very important fact that I think everyone should know. But this is an art stream with Jack Jasra and Tech <laughs> Bandits. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so Evolution 219 used to breed scorpions and says, yeah, the scorpion's digestive system extends most of the way through its tail. I should know. I breed them. Interesting. Uh... Was hey. like, don't just read the last sentence of my four to five sentence explanation. No? Um, Who said I, that? Oh, I see. That was just the last. Yeah, I can't keep track of it. If you've got multiple ank, if you've got multiple. Uh, Who said that? Multiple tweets. I can't keep track of multiple tweets. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I know. I know the. Uh, I know that. Believe me, ank, I've done enough of these Ethernet cables now. I like know it by. I know it off by heart now. The orange and white and oranges and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, the weird thing about these, the other thing that's, that sucks about these cables is they're not designed to be played with. So their um, their color scheme's a little off. They have like a, instead of an orange, they have a, 
they have a copper cable and instead of a uh, instead of brown, they have a, a sort of a clear copper cable. So it's it's uh, it's a little more fiddly. Um, anyway, uh, I've been missing Pac Mom in the last chatting session. Anyone knows if it's if it's uh, right with her? Oswald and Santos. Yeah, um, Pac Man is um, Pac Mom is uh, about six months away from finishing Pac-Man. her PhD. I believe is it a PhD or or um, but she's at school right now and she's got a she's got a whole bunch of work that she's working on. But she was in yesterday actually. Yeah. Um, I gotta say, I get it. Yeah, I do. Ank, I do get a kick out of making, I like crimping cables. I don't know why. It's kind of fun. The way Jack likes art. I like crimping cables. <laughs> Jack, do you do any of the hardware stuff in, um, in your IT classes? In the classes? No. Not really. They don't get into the actual physical level of networking no. stuff. But I do this privately. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's funny because I'm taking a, I'm doing a networking course on, well, I started on IT Pro TV and then I've moved back now to uh, LinkedIn Learning and I've just started going through that because I just, I really want to understand networking better and it's frustrating to me that I don't, I don't understand what's going on more with it. You know, the OSI model and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, where am I at here? All right. So, okay, so I'm up I'm up first thing tomorrow morning. Okay, all right. Oh, boy. That means a really early call because I may possibly be having some prosthetics done. It's possible I may have two and a half hours in prosthetics tomorrow morning, which means that if they want to start filming at 7, it means I got to be there at 5 at least. Oh. And if uh, they want to get me there by 5, we're about two hours out of the city, so that's going to be, oof. That, I almost don't want to know at this point. I, I almost like don't want to know. I have to become nocturnal for that. I think I, well, do you, yeah, what do you do? Do you stay up all night? Not me. Because I need to sleep, <laughs> otherwise I forget all my lines. That's the other problem. Uh, oh boy. Someone's really, really eager for me to check my email. Oswald and Santos. Yes, nice to hear that. I have to leave now for, for MSC class. Uh, one more and last time. Check your email, David, please. All right, I shall. The problem with my email is it's just, it's so freaking full. Go to bed. What? Yeah. Oh, Cypher Soup saying I should go to bed. Uh, any questions? Networking is my specialty. Oh, thanks, Ank. That's good to know. Yeah, I'm just plowing through all of the different, um, all the different courses I can find on networking. Um, you know, I, I don't really want to do the certification, but that just seems like a pain in the butt. But, but I, I'd like to know all of it, if that makes sense. Because I'd like to know everything. Um, Jack, if you could, would you want to make a living as an artist? Like, would that be, is that, or do you think that would not be enough for you? That's a good question. I think, I think, uh, when, hmm, I think as a living, it would be too much work. Oh, really? And then, then I think then it, it would take a lot, a lot of the fun out of it. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I guess if you're having to do it for other... I mean, I guess if you're having to do it for other people, I could see that getting tiring. But if you were just able to, like, say, okay, I'm going to draw this and then someone will just, you know, pay for it, basically. OSI layers 2, 3, and 4 are the main ones for networking. FYI, thank you, Ank. You may ignore most of the rest. I know, but that's the problem is I I feel like I want to know everything. Winter is coming. Is that right, PG Wipeout? Apparently winter is coming, just so we just see if anyone in case anyone was worried. But it's summer. I know, dude. but winter is coming. It's true winter is always coming, even when it's winter. No, some someday it won't. You don't think so? Bum, bum, you think we'll bum. get when the world ends. Oh boy. Bring on the doom. Bring on the doom. I'm just saying. Yep. No, no, I'm with you. Send someone what? Send some of that winter to Washington. Really? Do you need it? Time to prepare for skis. What? Wait a sec. What? What's happening now? I do not know. We suddenly got into winter. Yep. Oh boy. Everyone's. We've got a. We've got a. It's like a. It's what, what do they call it? They. Uh, it's like a, a flash mob. It's a. It's a winter is coming flash mob. 
100 plus F in Seattle this week. Really? Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. I love Wireshark, by the way. Um, hey, that's what they meant by winter is coming. It's Natalie's winter is coming. Or Natalie's. It's raiding with a party of nine. Thank you very much. Winter is coming. I love that. Bring your skis. I was like, what the hell? What's going on? Uh, I use Wireshark almost I daily. Winter is coming from like Game of Thrones. That's what I was thinking too. Exactly. Winter has come. There you go. Winter is here. Very good. Natalia's welcome. Natalia's? Natalia's? Raiders. Natalie's winter. Um, a flash has far more music. What? Um winter is here isn't it just it's a flash mob it's a flash winter mob um i was thinking about winter sports yeah, exactly exactly good thinking good thinking uh well welcome thank you welcome uh natalie and and your raiders or nathalia i'm not sure how to say it exactly i'm sure i've got it wrong both times uh welcome to our jack jasper art stream where i play with cables and uh mess up my computer while jack attempts to create brilliant Thanks. art Yes. And succeed, and as it turns out. Not attempts, makes brilliant art. Yeah, as I was about to say. Also, Sometimes. he fixed the computer. I know. Eye. It's like tech support and art stream. It's perfect. Yeah. It's exactly what I'd want. Um, I was just, I uh, Jack, just going back to the art stuff again. I, yeah. I, I was always jealous of like these like painters who could just like grab a canvas, paint a painting, put it for sale, and then sell it for like, a few hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars or whatever. You know what I mean? There was a, a director yeah. who could do that. Um, I can't remember his name now. Julian, Sch Julian Schnappel. Is that right? Schnappel, something like that. Um, and he makes brilliant movies as well. But he basically, people said like, you know, how did you fund your first film? Because everyone wants to know, like, how did you get your money to make your first film? He's like, well, I, I painted a painting. I was like, oh, I hate you. Wouldn't that be great to just be able to like paint a painting and then just like buy whatever you want? Yeah. And so I'm going to start painting. <laughs> I can just paint my ass. What? Sorry. I am not painting your ass. Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> Holy moly. Man. I'm sorry. I, I That's was your just, outside just... voice, son. Sorry. Look, that even woke <laughs> so Elsa sorry. up. Even Elsa woke up for that one. <laughs> Elsa, I'm worried you're not sleeping enough. Um... Actually, sometimes I sleep at the, the day. Oh, really? Kind of. Nocturnal. Yeah. Ask me your no nocturnal now. Nocturnal yeah. confirmed. She's gone full gecko. <laughs> Wait, gecko? Mm-hmm. Geckos are not nocturnal, are they? I thought they what were are you talking about? I thought they okay, were nocturnal. Yeah, sorry. Yes, yeah, apparently are naps the... are good for you. Apparently it's good to nap in little... Apparently we're not supposed to sleep for like you know, nine hours straight. We're supposed to have like little sleeps all the way along. I can't do Wait, that. Wait, we are? I don't know. I made that up. <laughs> okay. I, I'm i like, oh, then I have messed up. Well, cause... maybe. I don't know. Like, I they say oh. you're supposed to have like, what is it? Like seven, at least seven hours of sleep a night. And I just can't imagine that like when we were living in caves and stuff that we were able to do that ever. You know? Yeah, the thing is, you can have like sleep cycles where you where you like sleep five times a day, but right. shorter, like right, only half an hour. Huh. It works, but but you need to you need to uh, always sleep at the same time. And uh, I'm bad about that. <laughs> I think I think that's and most of the time you just can't do this because most of our daily routines are based off uh, you getting up in the morning and right right <laughs> well we were talking yesterday about um bees Gee. they've proven that b bees um can basically tell the time or they have a some kind of a timekeeping process and they, they understand time yes so they they understand that if at 4 p.m you put out sugar water every day they will start look at 4 p.m they'll start showing up to 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 get that sugar water and then someone said well wait a second maybe it's just because they can see like the sun and they know where the sun is in the sky and so they said okay they put them in a they put them in a dark room and still they got up at four you know four to, to get the, the sugar water and they said well maybe it's like um maybe they uh what was it what was it what was the other thing the first one was maybe that they can just look up at the sun right and then there was like 
for some reason they put them in an old salt mine like deep underground and they still got up at 4 p.m um but then someone said well what if it's i don't know i can't remember what it is um but eventually they discovered that they had it by giving them jet lag so they basically flew the bees to france and got them used to getting up at 4 p.m to have their sugar water and then they flew them back to new york city and they they kept getting up at the wrong time (laughs) which i thought was kind of neat but they still have. We we're we're looking into it. We couldn't figure out why they would, po- how they could possibly tell time. Like I just don't know how they would do that. Um, we thought maybe it was like something like the mer- melatonin that we that that regulates our sleep. Maybe they have a chemical or something that that does that. But I, you'd have to have so the chemical would have to be triggered by food or something. I mean, I, I it's too complicated. For, too complicated for my little head. We know. Oh yeah. Uh. Wait, the wrong time, as in for France time or for New York time? Good point, Inc. So what they did... No, they did it at at 10 o'clock. Right, at, yes. In New York. So New York, they got up at 10 to get the food, which would have been put out at 4 p.m. in France, whatever it was. Whatever the time in France was, they got up at the same time, even though it was only 10 a.m. In, in, um, in New York. So they did not adapt to the time zone exactly. Aha, KK, indeed. Uh, look at this. I love this. Is where I love it because it starts taking. It really starts taking shape when Jack starts doing that shading yeah. thing. Yeah, all of a sudden it just starts looking three D. Yeah, the, the thing is, uh, the lining and s- sketching it takes most of the time and it's most boring and it mm. doesn't look that effective. But when a color starts and then it gets interesting, suddenly just pops. Yeah. It all comes together. The grumpy raccoon forms. And do you keep different layers and stuff so you can go back if you need to or Of course. Yeah. Um, all all in, in different layers and then of course using the, the clipping mask to mm. draw over the colored lines, uh colored layer. Yeah. It's pretty do great. Do you use the mouse to draw, or do you have like a drawing pad? A drawing tablet. An old Wacom bamboo. Really old one. It's like almost as old as me. <laughs> and, it is a seriously uh, old one. I used to draw with mouse. Uh, like, God, when was it? I think thirteen to fourteen years ago. Ha. Huh. And it was the worst. I did like two pictures with it and they, they took so long. Well, because I guess you have to just create shapes and then link them and stuff, right? Because you couldn't freehand yeah. it, could you? It, very, very no. difficult. And you, you don't have have pressure uh, sensitivity on your mouse. Right, right. So, I mean, with, with, the, with the graphic tablet, I can do like, uh, what is it? Like very thin lines. Hmm. Or thick, and also the the density goes. Ha! Huh. Depending on the pressure. The, yeah. yeah, I set Baz up with one. Um, I can't. It was because he was having trouble with one of the one of the online uh, classes had like a a little note a little notepad where you could jot down. I still use it to play Osu. <laughs> Osu. Great. Isn't... So it's being used for gaming now. Apparently, not just for for not at all for school. That's great. That's good to know. No, why cool. did I just, I just, I don't realized... have school anymore. So why would I, need that's to use true. It for school? Why would you want to learn anything if you weren't, if you don't have to? Um, that's so what was Natalie's, for... what was Natalie's winter up to? What were you guys doing before we, before you raided us? Hey, couple cast super fan. Yes. Um, all right. And did you the so this all these techniques and stuff are these just things that you came up with as you went along? Are these things that you saw other people doing? I mean, did you watch other than Bob Ross? Was there anyone else you watched for this <laughs> stuff? Because Bob Ross um, was not using these tools. That's right. I mean, some... you watched Bob Ross, like actively watched Bob Ross. Yeah. Or is that a joke? Bob Ross is is great, and you can you can get so many techniques from from Bob Ross, how he paints stuff and use it on digital art. It mm. works. I mean, so, some some of the techniques are are from Bob Ross. 
Yes. Mm. Uh, but uh, I think this stuff. Yeah, sorry, I've ne- I've just never met someone that actually actively actively watches Bogros. What really? I mean, lots it's of people on do. Twitch and uh-huh. it's awesome. It's one of the biggest yeah. channels, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's very relaxing. Also, it his is. calming nineteen I... seventies voice. Yeah, I have. <laughs> to agree that it is decently calming and uh yeah but but other than that it's mostly videos and also some uh, other streamers who do art mm. i think uh, the best way to to learn art is watching someone else doing art huh. because you get you get a lot of techniques just by by watching how they do this I just worry that there's like this illusion of knowledge, though, or illusion of ability that, yeah, that happens with that, where you're watching other people do stuff. And you go like, oh, I know how to do that. But actually sitting down and trying to do it is a whole other thing. Right? Yeah, but... but uh, Like, did you, you, you draw a along... Ideas. Did you draw along while you were watching it? Mm, no, but but uh, you see you see how they do it and... and uh... It helps, I think. Yeah. I mean, you still need to know what tools you need to use and stuff. But uh, art streamers often link their brushes and also tell, tell you how to draw stuff. Right, I mean, right. I, I do it too. I Look, one of my one of our favorite channels uh, back in the day, Baz, Baz and I, was that... Um, was, it, uh, car- was it Cartoon for You or something like that? What was it called? Oh my God, I remember. I used to watch that all the time, yeah. What was it called? Oh, and I it do was, not remember, but it, it was really good. They would do the, what are they called? Like the chibos or the chibi? They chib- would chibi. Chibi? Chibi drawings. I yeah. used to be, yeah, I used to get so much credit for tutorials on how to draw them. They were great. Um, and they were just like step by step, very, very simple ways of drawing uh, chibis, which are basically like uh, anime only with giant eyes. That's ba- mm-hmm. They're like baby versions but of everything. Anime does have giant eyes. Yeah, it's like baby versions. Yeah, like baby anime. And there are a lot of great YouTube channels who, uh, who do art tutorials and stuff. Mm. And that's great. I, mean, I looked at a lot is... of them when I was trying to draw. Oh. And uh, I found you know, a... all the help, but... There is one that, like, it is, like, a par- like an artist and then, like, a kid, and they both draw it. And they like compare the them. Thing. No, they like. They and then like the artist goes like, "You thing. suck." That's the worst drawing I've ever seen. <laughs> That's what no, dad it, to it's, me. Their, it's their kids. <laughs> oh, well, then that is what I do to Baz. So. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. No, I don't. I'm always like, "No, Baz, it's really good." I'm like, kind of. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> no, Baz has actually got some really good. Baz has done some really cool stuff, actually. There's some great monsters. I had I had, used to have them up somewhere. I have like a bunch of pictures of things. Yeah. He yeah. took a bunch of He, he took did, them all down. Yeah, because you were like four because you get mad at me when I put up like kid stuff because you're like, Dad, I'm like thirteen now. No one needs to see my art. That's so not true. So not true. It's so good. That's very not true. I never told you to take them down. I was so proud of that drop that I gave you. Which one was it? Actually, I wasn't. I'm not really proud of it anymore. Oh, let me go I get was. it now. Let me go get it now so and show everybody. Should I go get you... it and should I go get it and show everyone now? Yeah, yes. sure. Yes. Is it here? Or is it down? Or is it upstairs? It was really edgy. It was like a monster. You somehow made an edgy was drawing. Was it these guys here? I. What are you talking about? I've always been able to make edgy drawings. A pro edgy drawer. Ooh, was it the I got it from my friend. Ooh, I like that one. Was that was that yours? Can you see it? No idea. Let's see. Not. Is it the Miko or something? Is that what it's called? The Kiko. Yeah, that's the one that I was thinking of. Alex, yeah. see? I have it up. I even knew where to find it. So back off, buddy. <laughs> Wow, that was a lot of tea. A lot. That's a nightmarish amount of tea. <laughs> Did you just say nightmares from tea? 
It's a nightmarish amount of teeth. Teeth. How? Teeth. Actually, no, I didn't like those drawings. Oh, think... man. Here we go. There we go. You should probably take them down. Dad, why did you show them? There you go. Oh, thank you very much, yeah, Crazy Nut DK. Subscribe for seven months. What are you doing? Says Crazy Nut DK. What are you doing? I'm not doing this. This is Jack Jasper. I'm just here to make Jack Jasper's life more difficult. Jack Jasper yeah. is inspiring <laughs> us with, some, with an art stream and talking to people about how he does his art. And um, he does all of our emotes. He is available for hire if people want to get their own stuff done. Thank you. And I highly recommend it. Um, and uh, like, look at him. Look at that little guy. That's like worthy of Disney right there. He could be the character in a in a in a charming family animated series. About a raccoon that is. About a grump a grumpy raccoon that swears. No, a, a raccoon that swears and is a hitman. <laughs> ah, one of those. That's I haven't lost it. I just can't find it. Moments exactly, Ank. Exactly. So we've got to get I've got to get Alan back in on this chat. Not I won't do it today because he'll be bored. Um, but uh, oh, he was trying to get raccoon naming in. Aha! <laughs> poor, poor Alan. I keep doing I keep doing like upkeep on this on uh, on uh, on the Discord and knocking people out of the channel. Um, so. Uh, but we'll have to get Alan back to talk. Uh, actually, we should get Alan and. Uh, Lord Chunky to talk text with us one day because we get to find out what's going on with the, in the world of tech. All right. That was another, another email. Let's see what's going on now. Sorry. I got to keep checking Jack because I, as I say, I got to work tomorrow. So. Oh, oh Baz, you have to go check out the uh, Blanco's block party. Cause there's a, there's a, there's something called a gorilla samurai that's available now. Oh, David. Yeah. Did you see Blanco's in E3? Oh, are they at E3? Yeah, I did. They released a... They did a soft launch. They did a relaunch. Like, you have to do a tutorial. And, like, if you play it now, you will have to do a tutorial and all that. Oh, really? Do we yeah. have to keep the first ever Blanco's block party person, though? You do. What? Do we get to keep... We have the first ever Blanco... Well, I, I, um, Wait, you have I, the first ever Blanco, like, no, ever. I don't have the first ever one, but I have, I have one of the, one of the first beta release ones. And that, I just really like this gorilla. I kind of, oh my God, they've already sold out. <laughs> they've the already NFT. sold out. Haven't they released, like, there's no jetpacks, a free jetpack in the soft launch. There isn't. Well, this is the weird thing. So, Jack, I don't know if you know about these guys, but so basically they have, they have, I want to, I want to be able to design our own though. Like we get Jack in there, starts designing Blancos and we sell them as NFTs and then you can sell them and resell. So I bought a couple. If this takes off, then my beta ones will probably be worth something, I imagine. You can actually uh, say, I want to create a Blanco and then they'll be like, hmm, can I see some work you've done? Yeah, there you go. And we show Jack stuff and say, here, Jack will do them. And they be like, hmm. And then they be like, yes. I uh, I was joking that we should um, that we should do uh, that. Um, Barnacles and I should should make NFTs, so non fungible tokens like those digital collectibles of uh, of all of our mental health issues. <laughs> so we could do like one of anxiety. Another one of like depression or, you know, like I just, and we name them and then we sell them. So everyone can have a little portion of our depression or our anxiety or our ADHD or whatever. You don't have depression. What? Ah, uh, never mind. Let's talk about something else. Um, what am I doing? I'm but looking for Dad, tech. tech. Dad, I'm going to go down and give you a hug now. Well, not right now. I don't. I'm fine now. I just that, you know. Oh, okay, good. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I mean, every, I think, I now. think a lot of people suffer from depression. I mean. I, I no longer give you a hug. All right, he takes that hug back. Very good. Uh, crypto has some good news at the moment. Yeah, I like that hug offering back now, please. Yeah, you um, got it. All right, I owe you one pug. Yeah, one, one hug. I was gonna I say want, pug. I, want my I money owe you a back. pug. Uh, yeah, give me some money now, cause I. Okay, crypto has done good. Did you just? Did I just lose sound, or did you stop talking? 
Did we just stop talking? Oh, thank we God. All, we okay. all just stopped talking. Okay, Jonathan oh, MLH, crypto David. has some good news at the moment. China banning it. Bit of a drop in value. Eight what? gigawatts of power saved in China, apparently. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, what? That, that is equivalent to two normal size uh, factories. Like, really? I'm pretty sure the, is that all? What? Yeah. What are we talking when, about? Uh, so China banned, that? China banned crypto, right? And of course, crypto is being um, mined. Uh, oh, sorry. So there you go. So Jonathan's got it for us. Jonathan says that's the that's the um, it's basically two large nuke plants, as he would say. So nuclear nuclear plants. That's man. That's that's crazy. But does that mean the GPUs will go down in price again now? That'd be good. I'd like that. Oh, I We're, need a new one. Uh, me too. We all do. That's the problem. Um, How old's yours? <laughs> yeah, what have you got? What have you got uh, there, uh, Jack? I mean, it's not, not uh, worse, but it's, oh. it's a GTX 970. Oh, yeah? Yeah, same. Same here. Well, there you go. Jack's streaming no problem. Of course, he's not trying to he's, he's not trying to stream League of Legends, I suppose, on two screens. Oh, can I tell you yeah, what was really, in the, yeah. they made a new starter Blanco in Blanco's block party? Oh, they did a new starter one. Yeah, do you know we how get you to have keep the, the old starter one? Yeah. Oh man, I really wanted I really wanted the Gorilla Samurai, and there was another one that was really nice, like an art version. I haven't liked the recent ones, but I have. I should look at I should look at what I've got. Let me do this. Let me, let me. Let me. I'll paste this so people can know what the hell I'm talking about. One day, I think it would be yeah. cool to do like a Blanco stream or something like that. I do. I do that for sure. Yeah. Because you can play really people. I mean, I'll get sick, so I'll have to, you know, probably like watch or something. Um, or not watch, as the case may be. Where's my I think my we shot? should do another. Um, we should do another spy thing. What's it called? Spy. I forgot its name. Geo. Um, no, no, no. no. What's that uh, one? Though I like that one that you were playing. I mean, the code words. Code words. Oh yeah, that was good actually. That was a really good one. I can't remember the what it was. Oh, dude, I think Blanco's is. I think Blanco's may be down. I can't I'll get onto their server right now. Is this so big? Is it up for you? It's a side I'm guess. trying. I'm I can't try... get into the store right now. Oh, try getting in the game first. Oh no! If I that's too complicated for me. Oh, I see. I'm not logged in. I see. Meh. Meh. There's the pro Arr, to... there's the problem. Okay. I'll try to see if the game works because a lot of people have. They've been making it a lot easier for people to make their games and all that since yeah. the soft launch. That's interesting because, I, look, I can't wait for them to be able to make... I can't wait for us to be able to make our own things and then sell I, them in there because that would be I genius. I don't know if you'll be able to do that because, like, people can make, like, swear words or stuff on that. Well, they probably have, like, No, some... but then they wouldn't post it. They would probably have a censoring chip. They'd have to have some. They'd probably have to get it cleared or something, like a lot of them do. But that's yeah. it's a good sign though if it takes off. So so I don't know if you know the background on this, Jack. But so one of the guys I worked with on Clarice, which which I don't know if it's going to go again or not. Clarice is sort of in a sort of a a, a stalemate on who's going to buy next season. Um, mm. But uh, so uh, Michael Cudlitz, who plays the, um, the you know the head the head FBI guy there. Um, he, uh, he invested in this company originally as a camera company. So they were, they were going to make like ring doorbells or something. And then they suddenly decided to change their mind and they started a, um, they started to, to do a, a gaming company. It's like, wait a second, I didn't, I didn't invest in a gaming company, but I guess, uh, you know, my kids are into games. Sure. Um, and, uh, so his kids actually work at the company as well as him owning a little bit of the company as well. Uh, and I thought, oh that? man, I want to, I want to own a part of a game company. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. All of the glory, like... none of the work. That's what I like about it. <laughs> How are we doing for time? Too? Oh my God, it's 6.30. Holy moly. All right. Don't end, don't end, don't end. No, no, don't we'll end. go to like six, I think maybe to quarter to seven. Is that okay? Another, another like uh, 
20 minutes. Is that right, Jack? That's good. Yeah. It's looking really good. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Now comes the sun part. If you now comes look the at shading. the stream, you can see the new oh Blanco starter skin. It's not... We're watching uh, Jack Jesser right now. Sorry. Oh, boy. oh boy. Oh boy. Soon, though. Iron I Ham is laying video. down the law. <laughs> uh, Blancos. Thanks, buddy. Uh, but of course, I'm going to dual screen as well because that's what we do, right? Isn't that right? We're, people are allowed to dual screen, right? Yeah. What? Draw, drawing is so much better now since uh, uh, Wendy gifted me a, a new monitor. <gasps> no way. What? Uh, nice. who, somebody uh, gifted you a new monitor? Yes, Wendy. We, Wendy gave you a monitor? Yes, yeah, she did because she bought herself two new ones. And so what? she gave me her old one and it's a good one. It's oh a, my God. A w, what's it called? WQHD. It's like 2K and Ooh, nice. uh, 144 hertz. Wow. So you're and getting her cast offs so, and, you're, and, it's, and they're still better. Yes. <laughs> and it's so great uh, to draw in, in 2K is so much better. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if, if, you, if you've seen a uh, 144K, uh, uh, 144 hertz monitor. I think Baz is but yours one forty four. Maybe. <laughs> Mine is. 144. He's being shady. Uh, Baz, you should find it's out. I think Baz is one forty four. It's pretty beautiful looking. It's super impressive because it's it's like so uh, smooth, even the the mouse movement. Oh really? I, I mean, wonder if that would make me it. less sick or more sick with motion sickness. Maybe less because you can see. A really huge difference between 60 frames per second and the 144 huh. frames per second. Yeah, yeah both of my yeah. monitors are old, are really old. So they're, they're, uh, yeah, they're, they're, I mean, they're, they, they do the trick. And I'm half blind anyways at this point. So, you know, <laughs> but I do like the idea of, uh, of a, of a, of a, of a, a slightly less, my eyes are definitely more tired, I think, than they, than they need be. If I had a better monitor, I keep telling myself higher refresh rate might make you less seasick. Yes, yeah, so James is saying the same thing. So basically, James is saying James is giving me permission to buy a bunch of giant new monitors. How big yeah. is the monitor, Jack? Uh, it's twenty-seven inch. Wow. So you guys are not getting along at all, then? She's uh, giving you she's giving you her monitors. That's like I mean, that's got to be it, right? <laughs> it it really is. <laughs> How long have you guys been seeing each other now? It's been a while, right? Uh, yeah, over a year now. Is it uh, seriously? Uh, oh my god! I remember uh, like I remember like those first those early days like like it was it was like yesterday. Back in my day. <laughs> and uh, we're together since uh, almost a year. It's like eleven months now. Wow, that's how it starts, Jack. That's how it starts. <laughs> Next thing you know, you got like a kid and he's answering back from another room on the computer you built for yourself and then you never got to see. I'm just saying. You sound so old right now. Don't I? I wonder who... Does Wendy stream as well? Talking? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Wolf Pup. Oh, she's about to start streaming soon. Is she? <laughs> yeah, but because now hey. she has really good internet. And that was always a problem. Oh man, she's never gonna get rid of oh, you now. Yeah. <laughs> she's gonna be like, she's gonna be like, okay, you can leave now, Jack. It's like, no, 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 this internet's better than mine. I'm never, I'm not going anywhere. And you know, and I like you too. Yeah. The thing is, she ha she had a really, really bad internet, and she couldn't get uh, better internet in in this building complex because there was old uh, like cables and stuff. Right. Yeah. And. And now she has a, what's it called? Um, She's got the fiber? Uh, no, there's still no fiber, but it's... Um, Wait a second, you don't have fiber in Germany? Uh, we have, but but she doesn't have it in oh, okay. this building complex. Um, the DSL, the broadband, the... Is it cable or is it I'm, phone? I'm missing the, uh, you practically get the internet from, from mobile. From oh, she's internet. got five G. Uh, it's it's only forty, but it gets up to I think 
three mbit per second and uh, 300 huh. mbit per second and it's it's great really and if you have a good good uh, internet connection with your phone you can just use this uh uh this uh mobile router it's it's called something else yeah yeah no i know i think i know what you mean it's so it's basically a cell it's a cell modem yeah um lt router that's it because i use what's it called it's an lte router right oh it's lte and oh wow because i've got we've got this 5g in toronto now and when i get it holy moly is it fast like yeah, I, and, it and rivals the speed of my of our fiber, I gotta say. Yes, and you you can you can uh, use it uh, as a normal internet. Uh, some some providers uh, give you flat rates with uh, mm. with this kind of internet, and and it's great when you don't have access to to like uh, fast internet. Right. Oh my God! It's network? there's nothing worse. The problem is once you've got high speed internet. Everything has to be faster, or it's going to drive you crazy. <laughs> like we go to when we go to um, uh, Jane's dad's place, uh, which we haven't to for ages now. It's actually, it's actually rented out now. But but um, when we move back there, which will happen as soon as Baz has finished school, I'm going back there and I'm going to get a pig and a tractor, and then I'll I'll <laughs> I'll stream it all if I can. The problem is the internet there sucks, and I'm like that is honestly making me question whether I should go there. Yeah, well, like, or how much money I'm willing to spend. Yeah. I mean, like you to get. An LTE router. <laughs> so there you go. So that maybe that's the way to go. And it's really not expensive. Uh, the the thing is, it for Wendy, it did cost less than her old uh, contract. Right. What about Starlink? And, uh, Jonathan MLH is talking about Starlink, but I I've heard that there's still a lot of latency with Starlink, <laughs> isn't there? What are you giggling about? Uh, sorry, I'm editing my videos, and uh, I'm just. Looking at all my funny clips and he's enjoying. <laughs> he's laughing at his own jokes. That's a good sign. Oh. Uh, that's good, buddy. So you're doing some editing. That's fantastic. It's getting better, and compared to DSL in the middle of nowhere, it's better. Oh, okay, that's 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 interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I mean, I would get Starlink uh, in Workshire in a heartbeat. Uh, absolutely, I think that's if that's the way to go. I would totally do that. Should there be coffee visible in the cup? Oh, that's a good point. Absolutely. Oh, and we've got to put the logo on the cup too. Yes. But should it be the Tech Bandits logo or should it be the it should it be the grumpy guy on the cup? I mean, I kind of like the grumpy guy on the cup. Let's do a little test how this would look. Sorry, I'm really good at giving Jack more to do. I'm not very good at going oh, like, you know. That's not a lot of work. Okay this and then multiply okay it looks something like this and then you need to do it again oh my god yeah oh i think we have to do that don't we <laughs> it's you. so nerdy like it's so <laughs> we can call it the inception mug or the or do we call it the infinite mug or what do we call it we still don't have a name for him yet Oh, that's right. And the Pfizer just call him the tech bandit. <laughs> oh, I guess he is the tech bandit. That's true. Rodney. Rodney's not a bad name for him, to be honest. That's right. Look at that. That's pretty great. Like this. That's pretty great. And then we'll have to create like an animation of it, of zooming in on the cup. And then it just keeps getting infinite. infinite yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Oh boy. Now who's, now who's texting me for God's sake. I need the, the thing. What do you need? Can you DM it to me? Oh, or like text me. Uh, I see. You need the thing. Got it. The thing. Let me just get you the thing. I'm getting him the thing. Uh, Quickly before the thing runs out, I have to. I'm like the keeper of the keeper of the codes. Um, sorry, Alan. Yeah, Alan. Poor Alan's been trying to get in touch, and I've just been. I've just got. I got too many things going on on my phone. Uh, all right. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. 
Yeah, I got a little bit of work to do. Okay, all right. Um, that's good. No, this is perfect timing, though. I have, a, I got a, there's a whole contract thing I got to look through now. All right, should call him Meredith. I, it could be Meredith, but there's got to be, I don't know. Send your suggestions. What do you like, Jack? What names do you like? Ooh, we could call him Wendy. <laughs> call him Wendy. Frank? But he's not a really, a, he's not, yeah, that's kind of creepy. That's true. Yeah. Look, I made a raccoon and I named him after you. I made a fat, grumpy <laughs> raccoon drinking coffee and we called him Wendy. What am I doing? Trying to sabotage your relationship? Yes. <laughs> it's terrible. You're right. Sab uh, okay. Sabotage reactor. Jack, oh. you could call it. Um, come on. Who else could it be? He's grumpy. Hey, why don't we call it Cal? <laughs> and that's kind of weird. What? That's not weird. Oh, Ronan's yes. good. Ronan's good. Conan the raccoon. Oh, Cal's back. I thought that would get Cal's attention. How are you, Cal? <laughs> she's so freaked out. She spelt that's wrong. And she's a translator for a living. I'm just saying. Um, how's your editing skills going, Cal? My God, Dad, please. <laughs> Poor You're Cal. So relentless. I'm, I am totally relentless. I'm convinced that Cal would be an amazing editor and that Cal would be the, is the, the Cal is the key to um to streaming success because she had like a, a you know like she used to do this herself um and then she stopped because she was too good that was the problem <laughs> she was too good at it um people liked her too much all right somehow i'm thinking grunkle stan of gravity falls it is kind of grunkle it is kind of yeah stan's not a bad name come on who does what does he look like he looks like a Hmm. Kevin. Kevin? No, I don't think I don't see a Kevin. It. I think it needs to be like a short name. Diamond Sword. You know. Okay. Hmm. Should be a short um, name. Yeah. See, I wasn't kidding. Cal had three thousand subs on YouTube in one month. See. <laughs> I kind of. I mean, I guess Rodney's not bad. I guess. No. It just feels a bit, it's a bit, it's a bit Stargate centric. I, um, hmm. I know who you should name it after the bad dude in Stargate. The, 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 like a Wraith? Schnoody. The dude in gold. I can't remember his name. The dude in gold. Like Apophis or whatever his name was. The, uh, Michael. Uh, it's a tad on the nose. Yeah, it's true. Lord Baal. Teal'c. Um, come on. Well, you know what I was going to call, you know, I was going to call Baz. I wanted to call Baz Basil. Basil's a good name for him. He looks like a Basil. What about that? Basil? I'm going to say, uh, Audie. Faulty. Yeah. As in. Audie. 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 Audie's good. Audie the raccoon. Okay. That's not I've got bad. some names here. I've ma I made a poll. I made a poll with some names. You made a I poll. I have personally my favorite name, oh and boy. I voted for it. Oh but All right, what do we got? Albert? I made a poll. Rodney Albert. <laughs> Albert's pretty good. Uh, Grumpy and Audie. Nobody likes Audie. No, everyone's going to vote for Rodney because they're all Stargate fans. That's not oh, fair. Uh -huh. You've made a terrible <laughs> mistake. Of course okay, everyone's going to um, vote for Rodney. What else are they going to do? Okay, I'm going to quickly change it. Ready? Quickly. Uh, if I vote, I'm voting for Audie. Out. I'm quickly. I'm voting for Audie. The one that is voted is voted we're, out. We're that's trying the to, one that's voted. we got to go. Uh, look, look nope, at that. Nobody, no, nobody vote for Albert. Albert, what's wrong with Albert? No, I like. Stop voting for Albert. Go I like, on, you, vote Rodney. I like Albert. Yes, vote. No, no, it's because we the person that gets voted is voted out. Oh, what? Seriously? Yeah. yeah. Oh, here we go. Now it's all stopped. Everyone stopped. Everyone. All stopped. seven Todd. people watching have voted. That's why. I can add uh, Todd to the ooh, thing. I like the little red rosy glow to him. What's that? Is that how full of coffee he is? <laughs> that's like his level. That's the level of coffee. Oh, that's good. He even looks kind of dirty. Just trying some color shifting, just slightly. Um, maybe it's because I'm blind, 
but um, I'm wondering if there's a way to maybe could we like outline the feet and maybe the hands with like white or something so that they stand out a little bit. Hmm. They seem like uh, this comes at the end. I'm mostly doing like uh, whoop 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 whoop. whoop. But the graphics here. It's just I lose the. I, I, I often do some some. Ah, that's what it is. Look, yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's what's inspired me. Then that's it. Yeah, because it just adds a definition to them, doesn't it? Yes. Oh. Wait. Oh, my God. It's so a tie did... between Rodney and Albert. So does Rodney uh, and Albert get voted out? Uh. Oh, Noodles. Is that Noodles? No. Oh, okay. Just no. checking. Just checking. Uh, or is that okay. just Elsa sounding very, very no, tired? No, we're making a new. We're trying to come up with a name for the raccoon. Albert. Yes. <laughs> you like Albert? Yes. Uh, okay, I'm going gonna... to... I. Oh, Noodles the raccoon. That's pretty good. You could call him Noodles. Exactly. That's a good Actually, name. Noodles is a good name for him. That's Tech Bandit. That's a Tech Bandit already. Our logo should be named... I don't know. Noodles is a good name. After me. It would get confusing, though, because I'd be like, hey, Noodles, yeah. put down that coffee. And she'd be like, why well, I don't have a coffee. And then he'd be like, well, I got a coffee. <laughs> um, oh, my God. We woke Elsa up again, everyone. Shh, 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 shh. Elsa's trying to sleep. I am. <laughs> you should be. How are you okay, going to go flying in the air, twirling around on your skin? I want to see which one of these could name to Albert or Audie. Oh really? There's a okay yeah. raccoon name too. Okay, so but wait a second. But we know what their preference is. Their preference is their preference is is definitely uh, Rodney. No, no, I took out Rodney because Rodney was unfair. Because we have a bunch of Stargate friends. <laughs> Why is that unfair? Just because that's how can there be zero percent if I've already voted? Oh, there look at go. that. I'm not We've okay, got the raccoon name is Albert. 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 Al is everyone likes Albert? Really? I like Audi more. He says, trying to just trying to sway, trying to sway the vote. <laughs> well, I know I prefer. Oh, 50 50. Look at that. All seven people. We're still waiting for our last seventh person to vote. Oh, nope. They're back. Humbug. Oh, that's good. Ooh, Humbug's good. I like Humbug. Humbug's a great name. Come on. What about yeah. Humbug? I agree yeah. with Gerald. We just do all these should, votes, and then we get we go with humbug. That's you know. I, I agree with humbug. Though. <laughs> Bandy. Should we just make? Should we just make his name G? What was the name of the raccoon in? Uh, it was Rocket Raccoon, wasn't it? Yeah, that's right. So we can't call him Rocket. How about Miss Missile? I know Al. The problem with Albert is people are gonna call him Al. Tactical missile. Missile. We could call him Face Ship. We could call him COVID, the raccoon. Oh, God. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because he, he's, he's existed throughout this. And I guess maybe too soon. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, yeah, Al does make me think of Married with Children. That means that's I'm, I'm being put off Albert right now because of that. Not, not that I have a problem with Married with Children, but just it's, it's got an Al thing. He's a, he has a mask, but he's wearing it wrong. <laughs> he's a raccoon. Um, that's how they wear their masks. Uh all right. Okay, same. Ah, but yeah, uh, Wendy will stream. Uh, so some... when is she going to start streaming? Uh, when I finish doing her uh, her uh, overlays and uh, profile picture and what? stuff. What? So Jack, what are you prepared. what are you doing working on our stupid raccoon when you could be you could be? <laughs> she gave you a monitor and you haven't even done that yet. <laughs> My the God, has Wendy, feelings. this is the worst boyfriend ever. I'm just going to say, like, just, yeah. <laughs> just Jack, I'm, I'm we should name the raccoon. That's my question. <laughs> what was that? What, Jack, what do you think we should name the raccoon? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm really bad with names. <laughs> yeah, me too. I know what we should name him. How? No. No. Okay. <laughs> Gibberish name. Basil sounds weirdly nice. Basil, I there was Basil Brush, right? I, I think we should name it Tulip. T 
Tulip. Jer tulip the raccoon. It's hard to say, though. How about not Tulip the raccoon, then? Ah, very good. That's much easier to say. <laughs> Jeff? Man. Uh, Jeff, is, Jeff is too basic. Can we name Ooh. him Chunk? Bonnie. Chunk. Chunk's good. No, Chunk. Chung? Chunk. Chunk. Did I just say chunk? Chunk. Chunk. Oh, chunk. It's different. I see. Chunk is different than Bald chunk. Balder. Is it really? Yeah. What about sus, the raccoon? No. Dad. No. <laughs> what, was, what was the other one I'm not allowed to say? There was sus or there was something else. Hey, Poggers? simp the raccoon. <laughs> uh, why did you say the word? You're allowed to say it. I think you're allowed, allowed to say, say it. it. You just can't call people. Up. Exactly. Uh, and, yeah, but you're allowed you to call, call raccoons. A tier three stub. You're allowed to say that about raccoons, though. Yeah. Yeah. Baldrick. Oh, Baldrick's a great name. Uh, Irwin. Ba er Irwin. No. Malarkey. Malarkey's a good one, too. Like PETA from Hunger Games? What was the name? Well, his name's Malark, isn't it? Oh, is it? I like Malarkey. Malarkey. Just it's like that's a bunch of Malarkey. Uh, Boulder Dash, uh, the raccoon. No nonsense. Like uh, brilliant, genius. Um, Kirk. Isn't Kirk? I feel like Crumpet sounds too close to oh, Crumpet. Crumpet, the raccoon. Snake. Crumpet. <laughs> Snake's a pretty good name for a raccoon. Snake. Solid Joe. Because he looks like Snake Plissken. It's true. You think of Snake Eye Joe? I thought of a snake from the video game, the yeah. Solid Snake. Yeah, yeah, Solid. Is it Solid? Yeah, Solid Gear, whatever it's called. Solid, no, Solid something. Uh, no, oh, he does. Look, he looks like solid Snake Plissken. Snake? Escape it's from New York. Me the game is Metal Gear, but the name is Solid Snake. Who was the guy? Was Metal Gear Solid? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I kind of like Snake. Snake's a good name for him. How about Gary? 